Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the Thinking Crypto channel. I've got some very bullish crypto news to share with you guys. Please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Guys, Bitcoin does not care about the election and the uncertainty that surrounds it. In fact, it is up right now over $14,000 once again right now sitting at $14,106, uh, up 2.71% from a 24-hour perspective, up 6.34% from a seven-day perspective. And you all know I'm a big believer in the Bitcoin stock-to-flow model, which, which is predicting a $100,000 Bitcoin price point uh, in the next parabolic run-up. And Plan B, who's a creator of that stock-to-flow model, tweeted about the 200-week moving average. And you can see the chart here. Here's what he said. Bitcoin 200-week moving average is $7,065 and increasing at 4% per month. Bitcoin is slowly moving away from the 200-week moving average. Next, green, yellow, orange, red. What does that mean? Well, historically, the trends are when Bitcoin's price is rising in the in a bull market, it moves away from that 200-week moving average line. And you can see here that pattern in 2016, and the colors indicate the rising price and um, uh, the growing market, right? So you can see the blue into the green, and that's what he's referencing, and then the orange and then the red to new all-time highs. Well, look at where we're at right now, guys, looking very very bullish. That pattern is repeating again in the four-year cycles. Now, I always have to keep it real with you guys. This is the crypto market. We've seen things come out of left field. Is there is this 100% certainty? No. Is there a high probability of this repeating itself? Yes. Is there still the probability, even though it may be low, that the pattern doesn't repeat itself? Yes. Keep those things in mind, right? I am expecting higher prices. Will it go to $100,000? We'll have to wait and see. But nevertheless, we are going to break through the all all time highs. I I have, uh, I would say, I would 98% on that, that we're going to break through to $20,000, right? Let's see how high we go. Um, but that's where you have to be patient. You don't invest more than you're willing to lose. And you, you dollar cost average in, right? Uh, obviously not financial advice. I'm just talking about what I'm doing and the general investment principles. So looking very bullish here, guys. And we know Bitcoin is the rising tide that lifts all boats. So the alts may go with it. So if you're holding Ethereum, obviously you can see Ethereum go up, XRP go up, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink, and so on and so forth. So I have those in my portfolio. I diversify. So if anything was, was to happen to Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever, I have uh, my money in different things that can make, make me returns. So looking great here, guys. And uh, I tweeted today, and if you're not following me on Twitter, please do. Bitcoin looking strong right now would be awesome if Bitcoin crosses 15K, which I've stated is a key psychological support, um, and it holds that price point we as we head into 2021. So we hit 15K maybe sometimes this month, and you know we test that price point through December and go into January very strong, and then it's sometime in January we work our way up to 20K and the mass FOMO kicks in. I believe. The, the retail investors will FOMO in again once they see that $20,000 Bitcoin price because it would further validate the market that and, and, and you know, the media is going to go crazy about it, right? The media, we saw it last time. The media is going to go crazy. So I think we, we may see the, the FOMO come in there. Um, things like the election will be out of the way and all of that. So I think Bitcoin will keep uh, going up and FOMO will kick in. And uh, what's uh, really bullish, guys, Bitcoin has been above 10K for 100 days now. And, uh, you know, this article here, which highlights that that point, you know, talks about uh, Plan B stock to flow model. So what we just covered and we could see a parabolic run up in 2021, guys. Um, I'm hoping for it. I want to make some money. Hell yeah. You know, I want to cash out some, uh, pay off some bills. I, I've told you guys about my goal. It's not to buy a Lambo. <laughs> uh, nothing wrong with that, but I want to be debt free. I want to pay off my mortgage and then I'll, you know, maybe buy a, a Tesla Model X and, and, and you know, um, and, and, and splurge a little bit. But the important part is take care of a few uh, bills and things like that first, right? So I am certainly looking forward to making money. I'm not just here to make videos, to make ad revenue. I'm here to make money off the crypto market. 
certain like many of you right and uh some other folks are looking at the market and turning bullish as well traders so open interest in bitcoin options reached a new record at 2.9 billion dollars signaling that pro traders remain bullish on bitcoin's price so really great now dan hell who's a business development at kraken exchange i've interviewed him on my channel be sure to check out that interview he tweeted the following which is really great it just tells you just the story of patience and time he said the price of bitcoin at the last three u.s presidential elections in 2012 it was ten dollars oh my gosh 2016 700 guys i wish i bought more at this price I wish my friend told me about it and I did not, I did not jump in, <laughs> but I did get in, you know, uh, I, th I think I've been public about it. My entry point has been around the $2,500 to $3,000 price point. Um, I, so I got in certainly lower than the price that it is now. And of course, 2020 guys, November 3rd, it was Bitcoin 13800 So that right there tells the story. And you know what? In the next four years from now, when the next election, you're going to see a much higher Bitcoin price. It'll probably be 20 something thousand dollars, honestly. Um, that will be the new low. Uh, and then people will be like, oh man, I wish I bought, or you're so lucky. If you're paying attention to the data, not emotions, not what the news is saying, but the data and trends, like the stock to flow model, like the technical charts, and the adoption that we're seeing of PayPal entering the market, Fidelity, Paul Tudor Jones, all of those things are significant. And uh, count yourself lucky you're here early. Like I said, uh, be careful. Don't put what you can't afford uh, to lose and dollar cost averaging. Now, guys, big news. A Bitcoiner, a crypto advocate, Cynthia Loomis, wins the U.S. Senate seat. This is awesome. Cynthia Loomis bought into Bitcoin as a U.S. representative from Wyoming. Now, she's perhaps the biggest Bitcoin proponent in the Senate. This is awesome, guys. This is what we need. We need the people who understand this technology, this new asset class in there, like your Tom Emmers, your Warren Davidsons, your Darren Sotos, and these, these people who get it. And Cynthia, um, once again, this is not a political video. So she is a conservative Republican, and she's in Wyoming. And we know Wyoming is a very pro-crypto state. We, I've interviewed uh, Caitlin Long and the work they're doing there with Avanti Bank. So Wyoming really leading um, in, in the crypto regulations as far as states are concerned. Guys, she first bought Bitcoin in 2013. So she's probably bought in at the low. She probably has a good entry price point and uh, will probably make a good amount of money in the next parabolic run up. So uh, Loomis, who wants to reduce the national debt, sees Bitcoin as a store of value. Guys. It's happening. Politicians, government officials, your big time Wall Streeters and hedge fund managers, your millionaires and billionaires, they are all entering into the asset class slowly but surely. So, so bullish, guys. Um, I'm excited by, by this news um, because these are the people who are going to help push forward and push for regulations, right, that we need and allow more capital to come into the market. Finally, guys, oops, it looks like <laughs> I was logged out. I was going to show you all, um, you know, my PayPal. Oh, come on. Now I'm getting hit with a security challenge. Sorry about that, guys. They, they signed me out, but essentially I logged into my PayPal account today. And it showed me I had the option to buy crypto. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. I love it, guys. I love it. I love it. Look at this. Buy, sell, and securely hold cryptocurrencies with PayPal, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin. We know this list is going to get expanded. We know new features are coming. But look at the, 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 the knowledge base they have here. Getting started with crypto. So teaching the public, educating the public, understanding volatility and risk about Bitcoin, about Ethereum, and about Bitcoin Cash, and crypto versus stocks, and what is blockchain? See what's happening here, guys? This is, you know, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, whoever, people who don't know about Bitcoin or crypto and have not paying attention, they log into your PayPal account, they will see this stuff. This is awesome. And uh, man, it's so great to see it. And you know they're not going to be the only ones. Credit card companies, banks, other payment companies, everybody's going to ju jump into this asset class, guys. So bullish. Uh, I hope you see what's coming, and I hope you understand the patience. When I say hodl, hodl, the patience, you may be hodling for years, 
but it's going to pay off. Remember, the, the people who bought in 2012, if they hodled in 2016, they made some nice money. If they kept uh, hodling into 2017, they made some really good money. Now, and we're still hodling some. They're going to make a lot of money in the next parabolic run-up, guys. So definitely exciting. And uh, what do you guys think about this? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Hit the thumbs up button, and I'll talk to you all later. Yeah.